And we can now go to uh, the former Deputy General Secretary. But I'm wondering, uh, this dress, what is involved in this? They're shaking you. Well, I just, I just wanted to be different. You wasn't wanted to be different. And you decided to come in this. Yes. I see the excitement on your face. I mean... Because I'm always excited when there's a Congress. I mean, this party was fashioned out of adversity. It was through the struggle, the resistance to oppressors' rule, military dictatorship. That brought forth the MPP, the struggles of 1991 to see to the return of democracy. So when you, you see the MPP, you see the rebirth of the new Ghana. The fact that the culture of silence was broken and the people were free to express themselves. So I'm here as a symbol of that struggle because I believe that politics is about choice, politics is about majority rule, the view of the majority, and also it's about service to humanity, public service. It means exactly that, service to the public. The centerpiece of politics is the welfare of the ordinary people, raising the, the, the worth of the ordinary people. And that is what should galvanize our politics. And I pray and I want to encourage all the MPP people from the lowest level to the highest levels that the three S's that I've always talked about, service, sacrifice, selflessness, that has to be the foundation of this tradition. And that has ensured the survival of this political tradition for over 60 years of very difficult political history of our country. And so I'm here to share in their joy um, and, and that's why I'm here. The, general, the acting general secretary presented his report. That should have been you. Yes. Do you miss that? Sa of course I do. I mean, I got a very emphatic mandate in Tamil. Very big emphatic mandate in Tamil. And that's why you see lots of people where I am, wherever I go, because the party grassroots, they recognize my long-standing dedication and service to this political tradition. And so I love it. Yes, what, is, what happened? In 2015, I've said to you, because of my love for the party, I've been very silent. Not that I agree with the decision of the national executive to suspend me. I never did. But I respected that decision because I love the party and I believe that the party should be supreme. And I think in the collective interest of the bigger picture. And I'm happy that God has granted us our wish. We are now in government, so any true patriot of the MPP should be seeking to do their little to support the president and his government to achieve our aims so that we can deliver the people of Ghana. That for me is the national interest. And if we allow the national interest to determine whatever we do, all these little, little differences that sometimes you see will go into the background. Because I believe, and one thing I want to say, because I don't want to speak a lot today, because right. really I, I wasn't going to be here, but joy being what joy is, I, I, I just decided that I wouldn't pass through and say uh, wish Christmas wishes to all your listeners and all your viewers, you know, but a constitution is a sacred document. I mean, you touch it when there is a compelling need. Right. But, but, I mean, th th there's also a strong push by some people in the party for your reinstatement, uh, do you think, uh, or did you, did you, would you want the national leadership to listen to them? Of, of and course, then, you of know, course. Get you back to your job. Of course, I think being on suspension for over two years is is too long. I think our constitution doesn't provide for that. It didn't envisage the general secretary of the party to be absent from his job for two years. It's not there. But I hope that good sense will prevail. I mean, I'm 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 happy with myself. I thank God. For the hat that I have, somebody said I'm very you, you expect a formal apology from you, for and I've not shown enough remorse. You apologize when you have done wrong, and I want to be honest with you. You've not done any I wrong. Don't, no, nobody has proved any wrong. I mean, there were when you, you you want to see a compelling wrong, you understand. So I am happy with myself. The party took a decision. I respect the party. I accepted it. I disagreed with that decision. And I carried on with my life. And I still, whatever little I can do to support the party, I do it. Right before the election, I did it. And after the election, I've been to congratulate the president myself personally. Because I've had a, a long-standing personal relationship with the president. Yeah. So which I was going to come to that and to ask you that in 1998, yeah. you actually proposed him at the Sunyani Congress. Well, I led him around the 230 constituents. And 18 years down yeah. the line, he, be, he becomes president of the Republic of Ghana. 
Yes. You share in that glory and everything that you did a fantastic job. How have you that. rate him so far? I, I went to see him at home to congratulate him. Well, some of us saw that in him many years ago before many even dreamt of it. And we supported him in very difficult times against the odds. But life is full of a lot of things, ups, downs. But whatever has happened, has happened. He is the president. We thank God for that. And I pray that he gets all the counsel that he needs to build this country, to implement this con the, the, the choices that he's made for the good of the people of Ghana. That is what is most important. The Ghanaian people, the national interest. And that's what we should look at. That's what we should target. I know you are a civil engineer, but yes. politics is your first lab. So it, once you serve your suspension, what are you doing to, 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 to make yourself busy? Well, I just returned from Rome, attending the World uh, Conference of Engineering Federations. I went with the executive of the Ghana Institution of Engineers, which I'm a member. I serve on the, the Research and Awards Council of the Ghana Institution of Engineers. So I have other things that I do, and also I love watching Joy News. Thank you very much. Thank you. Endorsement. Thank you. It's Amanda a pleasure. Thank you very much for uh, spending time to speak to us and let us know what is going on in your life. We wish you the very best, and we hope to see you on the political front very soon. All right. And then... Uh